Hi everyone, in this quick tutorial we'll be looking at the role manager in Jewelry CAD Dream version 13. So I'm going to create a new file. Just anything. So we can get into our role manager. Okay, so this is an update to this version of Jewelry CAD Dream. We have our role manager in our manager section here. If we click on this icon, okay, we have our different uh, roles that we can create and assign and this will help us to keep our uh, user interface tidy and more convenient. So we have some um, custom roles already pre-made and I'll just show you how to load them up and activate them and then if you're interested uh, in the last part of the tutorial I'll show you how they're actually created. Okay so by default Jurucad Dream. Okay, we have many of these tabs up here, some of them that we don't need. Okay, we also have uh, many different tools. Okay, and sometimes if we have quite a small screen, they can bunch up and it becomes hard to see everything nicely. Okay, we can get something like this, which is a bit of a headache to work with. So we can use our roles to change this nice and quickly. And they also affect our document or our toolbar and uh, any other aspect of our interface apart from the color scheme. Okay, so it's quite simple and we have these pre made um, interfaces like I mentioned before, and you can download these on the website. So just download them, you don't need to extract them, you leave them zipped. Okay, and then we right click on this user folder and Go to import. Very simple, just import those folders. Okay, I imported that, it was on a different screen so you wouldn't have seen it, but you just navigate to the folder and open it, and then you'll see it pop up in our user defined role editor here. So let me just import both of them. Okay, we have a custom and a compact. Okay, so the compact is intended for very small screens and the custom, it just tidies up um, your screen a bit better for any size screen, but preferably not the smaller screens. Okay, so it's very simple to activate these now. You just right click, apply, and when you do that, you'll see loads of different things jump around and it then uh, becomes a bit more concise. Okay, so you saw a few of our tabs disappeared. We had a toolbar disappear, a document element where toolbar is updated with some different functions here. Okay, and in some of our ribbons, you'll see that our tools um, are a bit more organized, okay, into these sort of drop downs. Okay, and this is how the compact interface works, we just have all of our icons pushed together into drop downs. So let me just apply that and we'll see. Okay, you can see how it all ends about here. This means that we can have a smaller screen and still be able to work quite nicely. Okay, so that's how we use our role manager. And there's just one aspect of this that is a small bug at the moment, and that is when we close down our software and reopen it. Okay, there's one part of the um, role, our custom roles, that resets itself to the default. Okay, we're working on getting those fixed in the next update, but just uh, to be aware if you're experiencing the same issue. Okay, so we open a file again. Okay, the thing that resets is our um, movement of the icons into the drop downs. Okay, so you may not even realize this, but for example, design sketches ring. Let's just reapply the compact, and you'll see that this becomes much more concise. Okay, so that does reset each time 
you restart the software, working on getting that fixed. All you have to do though is right click, apply, and it will just go back to the custom interface. Okay, so that is the um, role manager. And now I'll show you how these are created if you want to create your own um, custom user role, okay? So the way we do this is just set up the interface in the way that we want. And we do this mostly by right clicking and right clicking in the ribbon and we have these different icons. So a quick one for our ribbon tabs is to activate or deactivate them. Okay, maybe you don't want the assemble or the counter design studio. You can just toggle them on and off. We then have our toolbars. You know, the pick tool is the one that is default. I typically don't have any toolbar toolbars open just so I have a cleaner environment, but you may like to start using some of your toolbars. They can be quite useful. Okay, like I said, the styles, the color scheme, that is not affected by the role manager. Okay, finally, we can customize our ribbons and our tabs in more detail by coming to our customize tab. Okay, and we can set up the location of our icons, any icon, and our document aware toolbar. Okay, so we come into transfer, and well, let me bring up an example, say, gems and settings. Okay, we have our bezels here. Let's try and locate this icon. So we right click, customize, come into the transfer tab. Just change this type to all, the group to all as well. And we'll just search, okay, bezel. So there you see we have our bezel. This is the actual command, but it doesn't define the location of the command in the ribbon yet. This is the area that defines it. So we need to find the gems and settings tab. Okay, this is a ribbon. And well, I need to select JCD controls first of all. Ribbon and gem settings and we're in the setting wizard there open up the panel and let's find there's the bezel so we see our bezel there open it up and we've got our two we have the drop down here we have the bezel and the bezel plus stone so just for the sake of argument let's say we want to move our bezel plus stone next to the bezel not in a drop down should be able to drag and drop. Well, I don't know if we can drag and drop out of. I'm going to have to delete it and then um, drop it back in because we can't move out of the child um, area. So right click, delete. And we find it bezel plus stone, drag. And okay, we're going to. We want it to be next to bezel, so we drop it on the bezel. Okay, then we'll have an icon, um, an option we either want it to be below or as a child. If it's as a child, it becomes a drop down. If it's below, it's just next to it. So let's go for below, and you'll see it's on the same level as the bezel. If we apply this, we'll see it load up next to the, in between the bezel and under bezel there, the bezel plus stone. Okay, let me just Again, for the sake of argument, say we want to move the parve prongs uh, underneath the manual prongs, so it's a drop down. Can we drag and drop this one? No, we need to delete it. Parve prongs. Drag and drop it on manual prongs, and this time as a child. And you see it becomes the drop down. So, two things there we did the manual prongs, we should see a drop down there, and we should see our and uh, bezel, uh, bezel plus stone in between these two icons. So hit apply, press OK. Gem settings, okay, we see the bezel plus stone in between these two. And under the manual prongs, we have our parve prongs. Okay, so we set up our user interface however we want it, customize it how you like, however you like. And, you know, you can get rid of the icons that you don't need or you will never use. And this can help tidy up your interface. And when you're happy with it, right click on user, 
click create then you can name it let's just go for default mine my role one and press OK you'll see it added there okay what you might want to do is then export this just so you have it stored in a file format somewhere just in case you need to reinstall the software so just right click export let's just export it to the desktop click save and you should have it it's on my other screen here I'll drag it over my role one okay so there it is exported and you can store that securely okay so that is the role manager how to use it and how to create your own roles